That's how I gained over a thousand five hundred subscribers from one video. So to begin with, let me lay the foundation, the context for this video first. Um, this video took place during the time that I was going to Slap City. I began going to Slap City in the fall of 2021. Uh, the first video that I ever did in Slap City was, oh no, I'm lying. Well, I'm wrong. The first video that I ever did was Casey. That was in February 2021. And then fast forward, I um, the next video was Half Pine and Half Pine and Horn Feather from Slap City. That was and that video came about because my grandpa was buying a truck. My grandpa needed a gas tank for a Chevy, and Half Pine happened to have a Chevy with the same gas tank. So my grandpa um, went to Slap City like. You know, there's the type of dude he is uh, looking for parts for his, for the, looking for the part that he needed. And he happened to stumble upon a truck exactly like the one that he was working on. So that truck he figured out belonged to Half Pine. Anyways, uh, so we end up going. I'm uh, like, oh, we're going to go to Slab City. I gave my GoPro. Um, and I video half pine she was playing this cigar box guitar so cigar box guitar that she made right and it was pretty cool guitar so it's a pretty cool video um i'll probably re-upload it a lot of people have issues with that but that is so important re-uploading re-uploading there's nothing wrong with re-uploading if you're going if you're going to maximize like the title uh, hashtags thumbnail is so important uh, it's so important re-uploading uh, reusing um, maximizing bettering uh, bettering videos there's nothing wrong with doing that uh, recycling videos there's nothing wrong with doing that people have issues with that but I don't see an issue with that that's you know you gotta that's a part of the process of becoming a better producer better editor better content creator you know, taking something that you know is is uh, awesome, um, and and thinking about how you can make this better by re-uploading with a better thumbnail, title, hashtags, description, whatever. So that was uh, um, the first video of Casey started getting uh, views because it's Slap City, right? Started getting views. The audio wasn't that good though, um, and the way that I got that interview. I saw Casey at the uh, at the Dollar General Calipatria. I went up to her and I asked her if she could if she was willing to do an interview, and she did. You know, so then we met up at by the hot springs, interviewed. And the same thing with Half Pine. I asked her if she if she was okay to if she was willing to interview, and she was down and she interviewed. So that video started. They, both of those videos started getting a lot of comments, right? And it's not because. And it's not, this is like, this is the number one key. It's not because, oh, I'm this great video editor or video interviewer. No, it's just that it was Slap City, you know. I think that, and that's, that's important to understand because that's the way that YouTube works. Um, I was fortunate to live close to Slap City, right? So I had that opportunity. Um, and... It's, a, it's important that we understand this, that Slap City is a community, like a lot of people follow Slap City on social media and YouTube, so there's a large online community. Now, there's a lot of haters about Slap City, and there's a lot of people who support Slap City, and the people in between that are just interested in, in it. But there's like this community in Slap City, uh, uh, on YouTube, that follows Slap City. So what happened, you know, that's important. There's a community. That's an important thing to know. Uh, because if you want to do YouTube, you know, you have to understand that there's communities out there. And you have to somehow insert yourself into these communities somehow, some way. Um, and insert yourself into the conversation that is happening. Whatever community it is, you got to learn how to insert yourself, how to, you know, become a part of these communities. Um, to start getting views.
Right, so I inserted myself. I didn't even know what I was doing. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Um, okay, I have to backtrack because I had uploaded another video about something completely different, but I'll make another video about that. But that was me and my grandpa working on a tractor, and that still is getting views. But anyways, that's another community that I tapped into, right? So, okay. Now that I have established that we have, that I uh, inserted myself into the community of Slab City, the, the social media community of Slab City. So now let me tell you guys how from one video I earned, I was able to get over 1,500 and still gaining subs from this one video that I had the opportunity and uh, the blessing of meeting a certain individual from Slap City that is an extremely smart individual, intelligent individual. And he gave me the opportunity to interview him, of which I am so grateful and uh, fortunate to have interviewed. So, um, now here's an here's an important thing because Slap City is a community, is a commu online community. But this person um, helped me to tap into another community, which is the the train riding community. The 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 people who ride trains. I think um, if you're, it could. I, I I don't know if the correct term is hobos or train riders. I guess I guess train riders. He helped me. He helped me uh, tap in to the community of train riders. Now, now here's the thing with that video. Um, I uploaded it, right? I uploaded it, and he did an excellent job in explaining. He did an excellent job. This guy is smart, intelligent, brilliant. He did an excellent job in explaining uh, the situation, right, about uh, train riding. So I had uploaded it, right? And the, the original thumbnails were horrible. The th original thumbnails for those videos, for that one video was horrible, right? So initially it only gained like a 2,000, maybe 3,000 views and then it stopped. But I, I was like, wait a minute, I kept on thinking about it. I'm like, this video, what he's teaching us is amazing, what he's what he's explaining is something out of the ordinary. Is something that I did not anybody could teach. So and this is what I get flack for. Uh, flack for. Uh, I I was thinking about it. I'm all like, oh, this video has to. The content, the content in this video is amazing. It, it's more than three thousand views. I, I was, that's what was in my mind. So, I. I changed the thumbnail. I then did another horrible thumbnail. I was trying to uh, do Photoshop. Um, and I was just... The thumbnails that I was creating were bad. So, I also... You know, so I was kind of brainstorming change, how to change the thumbnail, right? I was brainstorming that. And then the title also. I think I used TubeBuddy to create the title that, that it currently has. Um, and also, I think the hashtags, if, I, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, they all came through to, uh, tube, tube buddy. Um, tube, I think, yeah, because I, I, I don't think I thought about this title. I, I think it was Tube Buddy that recommended the title of Train Riders M Must Know This, right? So, anyways, I re uploaded that video. Uh, I re-uploaded that video with a new thumbnail, and it was a thumbnail generated by by YouTube of only his face, right? I re-uploaded the, the the video with a new thumbnail, a uh, new title, and new hashtags. I don't know if I did a description. I have to go back. Um, you know, so um, with a new the same video that only got 3,000, about 3,000 views, re-uploaded with a new title, new thumbnail, new hashtags, uh, completely like uh, refocused, uh, completely re-engineered for the, for the search, uh, completely 
optimized for the search engine in a completely different way, the same video got me like 20,000 views within like the first week. Um, and that video within in a, in about one year has gained me over a thousand five hundred subscribers. Uh, another thing that that I guess that has helped the video is that he kind of looks like Joe Biden, Bo Keeley, um, and a lot of, and it's gotten a lot of comments. So it tapped into the back back to the online communities. It tapped into the online community of train riders. You know, um, and again, you know, that has nothing to do with, uh, it's all about, I guess, you know what, first of all, I was fortunate to be able to meet Bo Keeley. Hopefully I'm able to meet him again. Hopefully, you know, I know that he has me, he has me blocked on, you know, on Facebook over some silly things, but hopefully, um, you know, I wouldn't mind doing another interview with him, but um anyways anyways that that one video helped me gain over a thousand five hundred subs within one year and that's because i was able to tap in through to another online community you know so it's not really about how great of a content creator you are i mean it's just i guess per, you gotta be persistent you gotta you can't be willing to you you know it's not it, you just can't you just can't give up, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep on going, you gotta keep on learning, you, you gotta make friends, you know, because, you know, if I didn't, you know, it was, if I didn't get that interview, you know, it was, I was able to, um, it, you know, I, I was fortunate to talk, you know, to Bo Keeley. I was fortunate that he gave me the interview, you know, um, and, um, but, uh, on top of that, you know, I had to kind of optimize the video also, you know, so a lot of people that are, you're watching me, you know, you got great content, you got amazing content, especially from, from Slab City, you guys have amazing content, you know, you just have, you got, you can't be afraid of re-uploading, you can't be afraid of re-uploading, and, and, uh, and optimizing what you already have because a lot of you guys have amazing content you because you already guys live in slab city and that already has like you know a large following on youtube so i know that if you guys uh you know you just went by like changing a little bit of the of the content that you already have you gotta you you know um you guys could make some of the videos that you guys already have um, get a lot of more views. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But that's... I, I, I think I'm right, though. But anyways, thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail. Title. Hashtags. You know. Re-uploading. There's nothing wrong. That's how I, I gained. I was able to gain 1,500 subs. And also tapping into online communities. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you leave a comment, leave a like. Let me know what you think. And peace out.